Would you like to customise your start page in Todoist? Well, in this week's episode of Working with Todoist, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that right now. Hello and welcome to another episode of Working with Todoist. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I'm going to show you how to customise your start page now that Todoist has changed how to do that. In the past we were able to go into our settings menu, choose start page and create our own custom filter but now you can't do that because Todoist have taken it away. There's actually quite a logical reason why they've done that, but I'm going to show you how to set up your custom start page now, the way that to Todoist has given us the option. And as you probably have noticed, I'm also back in my regular studio now after a two-week trip to Europe. Okay, before we go any further, I would just like to say, if you do learn a lot from this episode and it becomes really useful, I would really appreciate it if you would hit that like button below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would be eternally grateful if you would just hit that subscribe button. Okay, let's go into Todoist and I'm going to show you how to set up your start page now that Todoist has changed how to do it. Okay, so every time you open up Todoist, it will default to open up at your today view. Now, that's where it's always going to start. Now let's just say I go into my today's focus over here, or let's go into next actions because we've got a number of things there, and I want to get back to that. What we can do is we can hit the Todoist icon in the top left, hit that, and it will always take you back to your default uh, start page, which in this case is the today view, and that's just the default view. Now in the past, what we could do is we could go into settings, we can go into general, and we would have the option to create a custom start page. Well, now that custom start page has gone. Now, the reason to do is say they've done that is because you can create your own filters and you can actually link to filters, which of course you can right here. You can link to the filters and you can pick anything. You can link to your labels or even a project to start your as your start page. So that's great. So that all we need to do is we just need to remove to create a new filter. So I've got my filters open here. Let's open a new one and we're going to call this dashboard and I'm going to give that a label color of blue and my filter is going to be. Now the reason why I want to do this and the reason why I like a start page is I actually like to see my inbox at the top. Now that's because I'm collecting a lot of stuff every day and quite a lot of that stuff actually gets dealt with on that day. Now in Todoist the inbox is considered a project so we can use the project icon which is the hashtag and just type in inbox. Then we, I'm going to inbox and then we've got to hit the comma because we're going to add another. So what I want to see then is anything that's overdue so I'm going to put overdue and then we need to put in the vertical line. I don't know what that's actually called. Uh, today, comma, and then normally what I want to see is anything that I'm waiting for. So what we can add is at, and this is for label, waiting for, waiting for. And you're going to have the spelling exactly how you have it. So there we go. I've created that filter. And as you can see right here, I've got inbox at the top. At the moment, I've got nothing in my inbox. I've got the today and I've got no overdue task. And I've got my waiting for down here. So let's just go into my inbox now and I'm going to create a task for a waiting for. So sample waiting for task. I'm going to add the label waiting for and I'm going to give that a project of let's just put that into routines because I don't want it in my inbox. I want to show you how this works and I'm going to create another one uh, which would be a sample inbox task. There we go and add that task. So now what we've got is we've got something in my inbox, I've got something waiting for. But the usual thing is, is how do I get back to my dashboard? Because there's nothing in the left hand column here to help me to get back to my dashboard. If I click on this, I've only got my today view. What we have to do then is we need to go back into settings, click on or go into settings, go to your general like here 
and in the today view now that we have our dashboard down at the bottom right there so we can click on that create that as our start page remember this is your start page we close that and now when I hit the icon up at the top it gives me my start page now hopefully you will when you start the day in the morning you will always have an empty inbox I hope but you'll also see that you've got things that you're waiting for and you can see your today and anything that's overdue which will be at the top now you can change this around as much as you like you can go into your filters here let's go into dashboard let's edit this and we can edit the filter and let's say I want I don't want to see my inbox at the top I want to see that at the bottom so I'm just going to move uh, this tour and we'll get that comma we'll do it all in one go so we're going to highlight that just it? and then I'm going to put that at the front like that um, put a space in and save and now what we've got is we've changed the order around so if I go back into my objectives and then hit this uh, I've changed the order around so today's at the top then my inbox and then waiting for so you can play around with that all you do is you decide how you want to set it up I don't actually like it like that I like to see my um, my inbox up at the top but that's something that you may wish you can create whatever you want and you can do <clears throat> set up and put in there anything to help you to organize yourself so when you do start to do it every single day you can create i've actually got double inbox there now so i can just go <laughs> oh the joys of doing this video kind of live or unscripted there we go remove that and hit save there we go so that's basically how you can set up your very own dashboard view remember the dashboard view you can always get to by hitting the todoist icon it will always start at the top uh, always start on this page all you need to do is go into your settings right here go into general <clears throat> and pick whatever you want now remember you have to make the create the filter first of course but then you can create whatever you want a project whatever you want to do okay hopefully that's given you uh, the answer to a lot of people's questions how to set that up well there you go it has changed recently to do is did remove the customized start page but you can still do it just by creating the filter hopefully that's given you some areas where you can play with it just remains for me now to wish you all a very very productive week thank you for watching this video now if you want to take your productivity to a higher level then get yourself enrolled in my 2019 edition of Your Digital Life 2.0 online. It is a complete comprehensive productivity and time management course and it's a course that will take you to levels of productivity you have only ever dreamt of before. It shows you how to build your very own COD system, collect, organize and do. It shows you how to create the folder structure, how to build into your, your goals, into your daily to-do list. It has everything. And not only that, you will get a free copy of Your Digital Life 2.0, the book. You also get a free workbook and you get access to all the slides that are used in the course. It is incredible value. I want to see you in that course. If you are serious about becoming productivity, then please join me in Your Digital Life 2.0, the 2019 edition. Thank you very much for watching this video.